Hello everybody, my name is Ginger, Ginnati Ginji, whatever version you would like, and today we're playing some Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. Now, I didn't grind for too long, and I've got 483, like, I mean, I had 420 pretty much a few fights after, and then was like, ah, great, cool. So, I then fought my way back, and it's, it's a new day, I'm feeling rejuvenated. Uh, and we can find it by the boomerang. So that's gonna up him by 11 points of damage. That is a lot of damage, especially in the, I mean, even in the late game, it's a lot of damage. Um, we, it's only six damage for Yangus. It's not really useful um, for a long time. Uh, the copper sword will be useful for one enemies and things like that, but for now, for now, I'm happy with the boomerang, right? We also want to keep an eye out because we can get an armor for the hero, which is going to up him a lot. Now, I literally said last episode, we're not going to get any armor. I stand corrected. I am not as strong as I once thought I was. So, the armor is 180, and look how much ups him by. Oh. It gives him seven more armor, which is a lot, regardless of what age you're in. Um... Like, even if we did sell all these, we wouldn't have enough. But I don't tend to carry Cypress Sticks at all. So he's got 32 attacks. So he is he is the beefy one at the minute. and uh, But he's got really puny defense. So he's pretty much a glass cannon at the minute. We will heal up briefly. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we are going to go and get that toolkit for the um, man on top of the hill. Right, now let's see what damage we'll do. The boomerang will be really useful in the early game. Uh, really, really useful in the early game. Mid-use late game, and uh, it, it's going to teeter off towards the end. So we're not going to invest tons of points in it, but we're going to put enough in there where it's going to be useful for now. Uh, and we won't regret doing that later. Okay. Okay, so, toolkit first. Ah, look at us go. Look at us go. Right. So, the damage, most damage will be on the first one, as you can see. It's 11, 15. So, if you ever want Yangus to attack, he needs to attack the later one. Because as you go down the line, it will be uh, different amounts. You will get an ability called Power Throw and Super Throw, depending on how many points you put in Boomerangs. And that is a ideally more uh, even spread, but it's weaker on the first one, but stronger on the last one, to the point where... Like, just to counteract the fact it's the opposite way around normally. Also, I must congratulate Trode's Carriage Wheels for never having a problem <laughs> over all this other terrain. So, fights are going a lot quicker, a lot smoother. We are at the point where we don't need to grind. Uh, we were only going grinding for that amount of money, but the steel, uh, the, the, the giant mallet is not useful. I'd rather save those gold coins and use them for another place another time. Another movement. Um. Yangus is the kind of uh, character now to always attack last, so he is not... Uh, getting the attacks in. He's not that... He's he's the very much slow damage one, but at the minute he's just not slow. Uh, well, he just is slow and he's not the damage yet. The hit mirror is the main damage. We are going to try the infamous monster here. I've got a feeling I'm going to lose, but I'll give it a go anyway. Oh! And he attacks first, just to prove me wrong, the little shit. Cool, let's go. Very nice, very nice. There's the toolkit. Yeah, right, we're gonna save state here. I know, scummy save stating. Right. You didn't see the save state. 
we're not going to make it a common occurrence. We will send to save state uh, in that place, but I just want to see where I'm at. Ouch! No attack and psycho. Oof. Fuck. Good. All right. Okay, right. Mute my phone, do apologize. Well, Yanks is dead. Alright, cool. And we've lost this one, haven't we? Uh... Oh no, we would have won! Right, well... We're not going to do that. The reason why is because we lost Yangus, and uh, I don't like scummy safe sating to... Like, if, if it isn't experiencing crashing and things like that, I don't like to use it, so I'm not going to use it now. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to... Um, use it properly, the proper way we're supposed to do them. Uh, I just wanted to see wh what, what like power level we're at. I think that's the hardest one of the three in the oh, four in the area. Is there four? Yeah, there's four in the area. Um, it's the second hardest in the area. I think the easiest is the slime knight that we're gonna fight now, um, and then it's the bodkin archer. Then it's uh, that. Then it is Hackzilla. Uh, if you know Hackzilla, you know. But if you don't know Hackzilla, we're not gonna experience Hackzilla for a long time. It's important to get the infamous monsters when you where you can. Level six, very nice. Okay, right. So now we're just gonna go into humanity. Because I want him to learn heal. And the reason why is not because he's particularly gifted gifted magically. It's so that what we can do then is if the hero the hero can attack and he be, can be a little bit more supportive. Um we will get onto axes soon, but for now, I thought we were going to kill these in one shot. I'm quite surprised we haven't. We just want Yangus to be a little bit stronger. Uh, Wait, I'm not expecting to get like a, I'm not aiming for a certain level. I'm just kind of getting a feel. I've not played this game in since I had a PS2. So this is about this is going back at least eight years. I've not played this game, if not longer. So I'm still very rusty with this game's like uh, level progression and things like that. Ivac is very nice to have, especially before going into the. Uh, cave. Evac allows you to escape out of a cave or a dungeon uh, and go back to the entrance. So it's very, very useful if you're going into a cave, especially if you're going into a dungeon under leveled. Right, we'll get the cheese first and then we'll fight the slime knight. So we're still not massively overpowered, but we are defeating a lot of the enemies in one go. Uh, how much gold are we on? Nice, okay. And this guy... 
Hey -o. Ah, you found it. Let's see. Yep, this is the one. This is definitely my tool bag. Thanks. I suppose I better give you that reward I promised. Hmm? Hey, you there. That little mouse you got is no normal mouse. It's your pet, isn't isn't It's your pet, is it? Right. Here. Have some have this cheese as your reward. I'm I usually I'm not bad at reading messages text. I don't know why I'm so bad today. We got plain cheese. It may just be plain old cheese, but that mouse of yours is sure to like it. And I could be wrong, but try giving it to some the next time you've got, if you, you've got yourself into a fight with some monsters. You never know, might it happen. Anyway, that's enough noise out of me. Thanks again for bringing my bag back. So. Normal everyday cheese. It's, a very, it's, it's light fire damage, I believe, to a, a group of enemies. Or all enemies, I can't quite remember. But we're not going to be using that cheese. We're going to be uh, we're not going to be using that cheese as eating cheese. We're going to be using that cheese to mix it with other things to create healing cheese. Well, not healing cheese, but like other types of cheese. But um. Okay. Right, we're gonna fight the slime knight. Uh, I think we're okay. Uh, yeah, we're right. We're not at max, but we don't need to be at max, you know. And I know there's a slime knight here because I literally just passed it uh, on, on like, before I hit record, so I know I know where it is, roughly. They infamous monsters, they're not in a specific set place. They're just in a roundabout at that kind of area. Because they can move. They don't just stand still. Uh, although they seem to just be standing still in this one and the other one. No, they move, see? So they're always in a roundabout place. Are you kidding? I genuinely thought we had their enemy then. Very nice. Look at us coordinating attacks. Oh. There we go. One night stand. Get it? Get it? Right, we're just gonna psych up. Okay, yeah. We've got this. Twenty-five, very nice. Yang's gonna cycle again. We'll just get him to twenty. We won't get him any, uh, any further. We're just gonna heal Nutty before it gets any worse. Look at that, nice and easy. One night stands off and ah. Okay, copper monster coin, very nice. So, infamous monsters don't disappear when you kill them. Um, they disappear until you go into uh, a village. I think. A dungeon as well um, but they will come back so you can always fight them again so you never you never lose them entirely and it probably is a good leveling up spot I think uh, we'd have to go and heal each time but um, it's it's there are better places to grind uh, we don't really need to grind for the next boss but we are going to go and get uh, the leather armor because we can afford it now. And we are also going to fight Sharpshooter. Because the leather armor should make Sharpshooter a bit easier. Very nice, very nice. Oh god. Things everywhere. My head is in a spin, my feet don't touch the ground. Because I'm in a harness and I'm flying. Right, so. Saw. Saw. We're also going to go and save in the church. Uh, and what I mean by that, I'm going to walk to the church and then stay, save state. 
Because it's... it. I genuinely think it's going to crash every time it saves. So I'd rather save state, but go to the church every single time. So it's as, sim as close to the real game as possible, you know? Because I'm using an alleged con uh, system. Uh, we'll get the leather armor first. We'll sell the copper monster coin and it sells for two oh two hundred, not one hundred. Yeah. There's only a finite amount of them. There's enough that you don't use them for anything, but uh, there's only a finite amount. Get rid of plain clothes. Yep. Yeah. What do you give us? Yeah, no. I thought they would give us something. They, they don't. They lied to me. They lied to me. Right. Church. Take me to church. I worship like a dog at the shrine of your lives. Okay, right. Give it to me. 129 and 100. Okay, right, well. Where is it? Where is it? System. Save state. Yes. Do, do. We will rest and then we'll go and get sharpshooter. Rest for a few reasons. Um, one, because it's night. Uh, and the fauna changes, um, including the infamous monsters. There are some you can only get in the day and some you can only get at night. Uh, I don't know whether sharpshooter is a day or night exclusive. I know you can get in the day, so we'll go in the day. Do, do, do. What's he building? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so let's go. I hurt my foot. No, I hurt my little toe. And... I honestly don't know what I've done to it, but it's amazing how much you how much you use of your little toe. It's probably because I bang my foot on every single surface I've got going because I'm uh, unreliable. Right, we are nearly always faster than the fauna, and we are to the point where our defense is high enough where we're not going to get really damaged massively from them. I love the fact I say something this game proves me wrong, like, we're faster than the fauna and then we just get attacked, like, before we have a chance to attack. So we're mostly faster than them and we're, we're at the point where we won't take, like, 12 damage by one, you know? Oh, we got some lips. So basically, any town on a night out, just the lips and nothing else about them. Useful. Okay. I 
I keep looking at the wrong screen. I keep looking at like the recording through my OBS. And I thought it was because, oh, like I've got two monitors. Because I, like, I like the color on the other monitor, so I changed monitors and now I'm still looking in OBS and not actually looking at the game. I'm just looking at what OBS sees. I'm like, this is what I mean. No, it's not. That's what I didn't want to happen before when I was at when I was a younger level. They take less damage anyway, but it's better to just kill them as best we can. Right, there's sharpshooter. Right, are we damaged? Not really. Come on, face me. Short shooter, not sharpshooter. He literally ran at us. Right, we can use. Uh, I meant to psych up, but oh well. We definitely need to psych up them. Thirty-eight. Lovely. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> nice. Right. Still does 12 damage, still a lot of damage, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was before. Love that for me. Right, let's heal the hero. Heal Nutty, and then go. And time to yeet myself back. Where am I going? I don't know. I've lost track of time. I've completely lost track of where I am. Oh, oh. Right, that is. The Bridge of No Return. So it's this way, right? Yes. Yes, it is, yeah. Riveting gameplay. Riveting! Okay. Alright, alright, alright. 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 Alright, love. We're getting there slow. I mean, not level wise. I'm not thinking of leveling up anytime soon. Like, I've got a choice in the matter. It's just because, um, it's, it, it's mainly just because, um, it's a long way to go, and I think if you keep on thinking, oh, I'll just level up one more level, it becomes a very risky path, and then you're like, I've spent nine hours in this area. I know, I know, and you regret it entirely. I think we're strong enough to go into the waterfall. At least, like, explore around for a bit, you know? Where? Mwah! Yeah, it hurt because she left the needle in there. It 
It looks like we found it. Naturally, I'd love to come in with you, but I couldn't possibly put my dear in danger. I'm sure you'll do a fine job of handling the crystal ball without of finding the crystal ball without us, Natty. We'll be waiting here. You be careful in there. I think this is a really like good setup dungeon that gets you used to the to the thing, to to like what it's like. Mis mischievous moles and a drafty. So not killing everything in one shot. Which is why I am... Um, uh, I took the precautions I did, make sure I was leveling up enough. But you will get more experience from these guys, so... Ta-da! You nearly always get more experience points in dungeons than outside of dungeons. And a Chimera wing. Brilliant. You'd think you get a bat swing from a bat, but oh well. I'll take the Chimera. I always think this chest, this chest specifically, looks like so different than all the rest. It's not really red until you get up to it. I will, I'm not going to lie, maps aren't too useful uh, massively. I will be using them, but they they don't tell you where treasures are and things like that, so. What are you doing in here? I came to look at the waterfall and stumbled upon this cave. A waterfall cave. It's so intriguing. I was trying to explore, but I've gone and got myself completely lost. There's a map literally behind you. Oh, hang, hang on. Got an itch. Got an itch. 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 There you go. Oh, stunning. Literally. I thought brown cow. Stunning. No. Stunning. No, I've lost my uh, top, the, uh, upper ranges of my voice. That's Maybe I'm finally going through puberty. I don't know. Chimera wing. We love to see it. We now have two. Medicinal herb. Very nice. And a leather hat. Brilliant. We'll equip the leather hat to the hero because it is a little bit more. It's two more than the bandana. I meant to say yes. Yep. And then we'll transfer. Just moving around, making it a little bit more orderly. Let's race down. Run! No? Okay. He will walk gingerly. Ah! Uh. Oh! Sorted. Don't need to worry then. Okay, okay, right, so. We're getting there slowly. Uh, uh. The hero should be leveling up soon, though. There we go. I call him the hero a lot, uh, don't know why. Five max HP, which is very nice. Right, so, one on courage, and then we'll go straight on boomerangs. Zoom. Zoom is basically the Chimera Ring, but as a spell. It costs one MP, I believe, and it will teleport you anywhere, you, anywhere any village or some dungeons you've been before. I won't teleport you to this one, uh, or what, anyone's in the early game really, but it definitely, uh, it will teleport you. Oh, fuck. 
Look at those steel toe caps. He means professional. He means business. Business. There is a monster. It was a monster match right there. So, we will see what he says in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to say that my name has been that one dude. You've been watching me play Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and join me on my journey. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.